Hey guys, Alex here with ASM 101. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time being here and you're interested in learning new architectural sheet metal tips, tricks, and techniques, guys, smash that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you never miss another upload. Okay, a few things to get off the plate right away. What we're using is 26 gauge steel. Yes, it's easier to do in 26 gauge steel, but they can be done in 24 gauge steel as well. So don't worry. It just takes a little bit more attention to detail and a little bit more strength and you can do it. Also, we've done two other videos on two other options. I'll put those links at the end of this video. And always remember, first you get good, then you get fast. Let's get into the video. Yeah, so the details in this book are, are really, really good. If you follow them to the letter, I mean, it just takes the guesswork out of it. Why reinvent the wheel? It's all been done. So, that will go there, and that will go there. Do that. I want to find my, yeah, Eve. Just transfer that line over. I'll do the same over here. Yeah. So I know where to line up my jig. The jig will now go like so. You see where that line is? I just made. You're gonna. This is gonna line. This back edge is gonna line up with it. This is a little short, but it's gonna be fine. It's just a tab that folds over. It's a little short. It's okay. Okay, here, here, a little notch. Okay, same idea, lining up this back edge with that line, like so. And down, and like that. Maybe it is the straights that are just gonna come in handy here. Okay, just to describe a little what's going on here, I'm just using my straight snips to cut this bull nose in. I thought maybe a curved snip would be better here, but Actually, straight snips seem to do the job okay. just fine. Huh? Taking off this little chunk of material is quite important to the finished product. You don't want any loose metal hanging around. These notches here that we made on the, from the jig. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure notching out to that. The importance of being accurate with your notching, I cannot stress enough. It sets up the playing field for the rest of the detail on where the bends are going to bend and so on and so forth. So make sure to practice your notching and get it as accurate as possible. Like I said in the beginning, first you get good, then you get fast. Remember that. And just to show you, this notch stops above this bend here. So if, if we had notched all the way down, then this flap would open up at some point. But because we've only notched to here, this is gonna get locked uh, when we fold everything over. Which... If you've ever wondered how to keep that flap closed, this is the way to do it. You're using the material itself to hold itself in place. And it's quick, it's easy, and it looks nice and clean. And you can see how it's all, without a notch being there, it's just all folded in on itself. And that's what... Okay, knocking this over is what we call double seaming, and it really gives a watertight joint to the roof panel. 